hello dear students in this video i am going to explain the new chapter in second pc syllabus the third chapter human reproduction and it is very important topic for theory as well as competitive exams so let us move to the details of human reproduction so following are the steps in human reproduction the type of reproduction in humans is sexual reproduction because this involves the formation and fusion of gametes therefore the human reproduction is sexual and humans give birth to the young ones they are called vv paras the type of the reproduction shown by humans is sexual reproduction and the humans give birth to the young ones therefore humans are called vv paras let us move to the steps in human reproduction the human reproduction involves the following steps first one is gametogenesis that means the formation of gametes male gametes in the male reproductive system and female gametes in the female reproductive system so formation of the gametes in the gonads is called gametogenesis and this is the first step in human reproduction then second step is insemination what is the meaning of insemination transfer of sperms into the female reproductive tract once the sperms are produced in the male reproductive system they are transferred into the female genital tract this is called insemination then third step is fertilization so humans are showing sexual reproduction therefore the fertilization occurs which is the main step in human reproduction during which the haploid male gamete and female gametes fuse with each other and gives rise to the formation of a structure called zygote that zygote gets transformed into blastocyst and that blastocyst attaches to the uterus of female reproductive system which is called implantation the very important process in human reproduction is implantation fertilization is not only sufficient to continue the pregnancy period it must be followed by implantation so implantation confirms the continuation of pregnancy it is followed by embryo development that is called gestation the period of pregnancy in humans is called gestation then finally at the end of gestation when that embryo develops completely into the fetus it is delivered from the pregnant female it is called parturition so all of these are the steps with respect to human reproduction gametogenesis formation of the gametes insemination transfer of sperms into the female genital tract fertilization fusion of the haploid gametes implantation attachment of blastocyst gestation complete development of embryo that is period of pregnancy then parturition giving birth to fully developed fetus is called parturition so all these are the steps in human reproduction and one thing to remember these reproductive events occur after puberty that means after reaching the adult stage 
during puberty the hormonal production increases in the male and female body specifically the sex hormone production which are responsible for secondary sexual characters in males and females that period is called puberty and it is under the influence of hormones during the puberty stage the hormonal influences show the behavioral changes as well as morphological changes so these are the characters that can be observed during human reproduction so in the topic you are going to study about the details of male reproductive system and the female reproductive system and in the beginning of the chapter the details of male reproductive system is explained so let us move to the study of male reproductive system the male reproductive system is located in the pelvis region that means the abdominal region of the body it is located in the pelvis region and the male reproductive system has four main parts a pair of testes they represent the male gonad and primary sex organs accessory ducts associated with the testes accessory glands are associated with the testes and another part is external genitalia so these are the four main parts with respect to the study of male reproductive system the two terms you have to remember the male reproductive system is located in the pelvis region it consists of four parts a pair of testes accessory ducts accessory glands or simply you can write glands and external genitalia so here is the diagram showing sectional view of male pelvis showing the reproductive system here you can see the testis it is nothing but the male gonad and here some gland names are given bulbo urethral gland it is the accessory gland associated with the male reproductive system one more is here prostate gland this is prostate gland it is also associated with male reproductive system apart from that some names you can see in the diagram like ejaculatory duct vas deferens these are the associated ducts accessory ducts of male reproductive system in the continuation of the chapter you are going to study in detail about all these things so here is the diagrammatic sectional view of male pelvis showing reproductive system so let us move to the details of testis testis if you write the spelling t e s t e s it is the plural form if you write the spelling t e s t i s it is singular testes are the male gonads situated outside the abdominal cavity within a pouch called scrotum so here in this diagram you can see these oval shaped structures are the male gonads and they are testes and both the testes are present in a pouch or cavity and this is called scrotum so scrotum is the pouch containing both the male gonads called testes then question is why the male gonads are situated abdominal in outside the abdominal cavity why they are not located within the abdo abdominal cavity the reason is that during the growth of male fetus within the uterus 
द टेस्टिस आर डिसेंडेड टू द स्प्रोटम इफ दे रिमेन इन द एबडोमिनल कैविटी इट रिजल्ट्स इन ए कंडीशन कॉल्ड क्रिप्ट ऑर्चिडिज्म वेयर इवन दो टेस्टिस आर प्रेजेंट बट द मेल इज अनेबल टू प्रोड्यूस द मेल गैमेट्स कॉल्ड स्पर्म्स दैट इज व्हाई द टेस्टिस आर ट्रांसफर्ड टू एबडोमिनल outside the abdominal cavity into a pouch called scrotum so question is what is scrotum it is a pouch present outside the abdominal cavity containing testes it is called scrotum the scrotum is a small muscular sac it is completely made up of muscles contains and protects the testes what is scrotum scrotum is a muscular sac which contains the testis as well as it protects the testis it is part of external male genitalia and is located behind the penis external genitalia it is the last part of male reproductive system or the fourth part of male reproductive system and that external genitalia contains penis through which the urine is removed from the body behind that penis the sac or pouch made up of the muscles is present which is called scrotum and inside the scrotum both the testes are present the scrotum provides protection as well as it contains the testes then the scrotum function is very important here the scrotum helps in maintaining low temperature of the testes than that of abdominal body temperature so here you can see one sentence 2 to 2.5 degree celsius lower than normal internal body temperature that means if the body temperature is 40 degree the scrotum temperature will be 2 or 2 to 5 2.5 degree less than that of body temperature and this low temperature in testes is required for spermatogenesis once again the term genesis production of sperms within the testes the process of production of the sperms and sperms are nothing but male gametes inside the testes is called spermatogenesis and that spermatogenesis needs low temperature and that low temperature is maintained by scrotum what is the difference between the normal body temperature and scrotum temperature it is 2 to 2.5 degree celsius and this low temperature of the testis supports the spermatogenesis so that is why the testis are transferred to the scrotum then coming to the shape of the testis here in the image you can see the testis are oval in shape the length is 4 to 5 cm and width is 2 to 3 cm and both the testis are covered by a dense covering called tunica albuginea the outer covering outer dense and tough covering of the testis is called tunica albuginea and internally when the testis is observed in its sectional view each testis contains about 250 compartments called testicular lobules inside the testis the small compartments are present and each compartment is called testicular lobule what is the number of testicular lobule it is 250 once again i would like to revise the things the male reproductive system is located in the pelvis region it consists of four parts a pair of testes 
accessory ducts, glands and external genitalia. The testes are the male gonads located outside the abdominal cavity within a pouch called scrotum. The scrotum is a small muscular sac that contains and protects the testis each that it is part of external male genitalia and it is located behind the penis. The scrotum helps in maintaining the low temperature of testis and the low temperature in testis is required for spermatogenesis. The temperature of the scrotum is 2 to 2.5 degree Celsius lower than the normal internal body temperature. Each testis is oval in shape. The length is 4 to 5 centimeters, width is 2 to 3 centimeters, and testis is covered by a dense tough covering called tunica albuginea. And each testis internally contains small compartments called testicular lobules. And the number of testicular lobule in each testis is 250. I hope it is clear for you. Please go through the explanation clearly. Thank you.